Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, a viewer is min is noticing something that I've noticed too, and that's where you know why why isn't there as much news as there used to be in comics? And and you may say, well, that's kind of anecdotal. It is, but there is a distinct drop in the actual kind of news and happenings and things going on in comics than there used to be, a, a fairly significant drop. So uh, just the viewer mail is actually pretty quick, but and you've heard the topic, but it basically goes, um, hey Birch. Uh, appreciate what you do and appreciate the fact that you managed to piss off both the I love everything about comics, there's nothing any wrong, stop saying otherwise, I can't hear you, nah, 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 group, as well as the why is Carol such a bitch, I hate comics, comics are dying crowd. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations for making both groups angry and therefore ensuring that your channel is never going to grow. <laughs> well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I, I've reached my cap of uh, sane people, and I'm, I appreciate I appreciate that. <laughs> Look, I, I couldn't. I know people have asked me uh, before, like, why don't you go all in on one of those two things? Like, everything is perfect. I can't hear you. Everything is wonderful, um, or everything is rotten. You know, woke SJW. Everything is dying. And the answer is, I could get. I, I could do that for maybe ten days, maybe. You know, which I know, given the videos I put out, would be like 400 videos. But no, I'm, I for about a week, a little bit more than a week, I think I could do it. But I would, I would be <laughs> just rotting inside <laughs> more than I already am. Um, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't keep it up. Um, you know, which is not something I've ever said before, if you know what I mean. Um, I, it, it just, no, I, I it, it's just too absurd. Anyway, but. But the, sorry, back to the fail. My real question, however, is why is there so little comic book news? If I go back even four years ago, lots of sites like your favorite Bleeding Cool, Newsarama, CBR, Comics Beat, and others constantly had new stories about new storylines, new titles, announcements, creators moving, and everything else. One of the complaints that I used to have was that there was so much news about the big two that we never heard much about the others. So my question to you is, what happened to all the news? It's not like that anymore. Days will go by with no news stories or dumb news stories. Like a couple days ago, Rich Johnston did a news story bragging about how he got a blue check mark on Twitter and Elon Musk is bad. That's not comic news. What happened to the actual news? All right. Um, so I, so it's, it, it's a true statement and, you know, while it's somewhat subjective, you know, what, how much is too much, what is not subjective is there's definitely less, there's definitely no doubt about it, less news in for comics. If you go to bleeding cool, <laughs> you know, use a, uh, use some kind of, uh, ad filter and a virus checker. I, whenever I go to that site, I'll just uh, leave the browser alone for a minute, and then it'll start popping up warnings about the site using excess memory. And uh, I'm not try it for yourself. This isn't <laughs> me throwing shade. But pull open Safari, run over there, put in Bleeding Cool, leave it on the home page, and just walk away for 60 seconds and, and watch what happens to your browser. If you have those ad tracker kind of blockers on there as well, just check out the count. It's like a <laughs> anyway, it's like a Geiger counter going in there. Um, if you go there, if you go to Newsroom, you go to CBR, what you'll notice is there's more and more articles like, who is Simon Williams? Newsroom explains. Or, top 10 ways that Superman had a haircut. You know, it, and it, you're getting articles like that, and you're getting very little news. And even if you go over to Marvel and DC sites, and you look at kind of their newsroom, you'll notice that the announcements that the companies are putting out are becoming farther and farther apart. There's just a lot less news out there. Now, you know, you might say that's kind of surprising. I mean, after all, you know, we have 400 to 500 comics being produced every month. And as, uh, you know, several of these sites have told us, the comic business is bigger and more powerful and doing better than ever. Never been better than this. So if that's the case, where's the news? Where are the articles? Where are the press announcements? Where's anything? There's, there's very, there's, there's a lot less than there used to be. And again, just, just to, to prove it, because you're like, well, I went to the news site and I see news articles. Yes, there, there are news articles on the site. 
But even if you forget about, you know, forget about whether there's an actual announcement or some listicle about, you know, the times Punisher used a gun, uh, even if you even if you discount that, because there's a lot more of the latter and a lot less of the former. But even if you ignore that and you simply go to some of these sites and you, you, you just scan by date and you look at the articles in comics, the news articles posted in, say, you know, just just a couple of years ago, even 2019. And then you look at the articles posted in 2022. It's less than a third. And keep in mind, just, just in sheer volume of articles, it's why when you go to a site like Bleeding Cool or CBR, you'll notice if you, you know, if you just look at the total articles, sure, they're, they're slamming out as many as they can, but most of them are not comics related. They've all wandered into games, TV, pop culture, other things, all trying to be Kotaku, uh, io9, it's every, they're all trying to be other sites. There's less, there's, there's definitively, factually, numerically, fewer news articles. You can see it for yourself. There's just proof. And of the news articles that are there, and this is the subjective part, most of them have no value. Which I know is kind of an oxymoron because, you know, articles on Bleeding Cool didn't have value years ago either. But, but there's just a lot less. So, you know, what, do you, what, what can you make of that? Well, I mean, for one thing, there, you know, comics seems to become a little disinterested in hyping itself. If you notice, um, people have made more comments about Mark Miller's uh, Substack or you know, uh, his announcements, his newsletter, um, kind of his, you know, he's got a channel up where he's interviewing people now. Um, and but if you look at at his newsletter, you you read that, and people, a lot of people have commented on this. It's like, wow, he sounds like a pitch man. He's like, hey, I'm doing this, and here's a comic coming out, and there's another guy I've signed, and what about this over here? Can we check this out over here? It's it's very. It, it's, it feels like an aggressive pitch. And the reality, though, is if you look at it, it's not, it's not really any more or less aggressive, and it's Miller as he's always been. But it's, it, it, the, the, the comedy of it is that everyone else has taken several steps backward. Marvel just talks a lot less than they used to. DC you know, will say things, they'll, they'll, but DC basically lines up interviews of some of their people with, uh, you know, with IGN or sites and co- including a bunch of sites that are no longer terribly popular, but these are the ones that the kind of marketing department of DC just remembers. So the line of interviews with people and they wind up saying kind of the same thing. And in many cases, the interviews happen way after the fact they've lost the art of actually marketing months ahead. Like once upon a time, I don't know if you remember when, uh, the dark Avengers was coming out. Marvel released this silhouette version of the team, and they did it for a couple of, I think, the Avengers and a couple other comics afterward. There'd be this kind of image where all the characters were blacked out in silhouette. And then every day, they would basically reveal one character. And then eventually you'd see, you know, the entire team. And in doing so, they basically got the news to carry out through an entire week. They got a hype for a week. So when was the last time this happened? When was the last time this happened anywhere? You know, you've got DC about to promote their, uh, you know, new Dawn of DC and, and a bunch of new titles. Where's the, uh, you know, where's the big countdown to revealing the Justice League? Wouldn't that be a smart thing to do? There'd be a lot of interest in that team. Couldn't you do a similar thing where you had this kind of whole team there and you slowly revealed one by one and you made a big deal out of it? You know, over in uh, Marvel, we're getting to the end of Jason Aaron run. We're soon going to get another reveal of the Avengers. They've done teasers before. When the Fantastic Four was announced with Ryan North, they they sort of teased that. They put up an image, and then a couple days later, they revealed it. But it's very half-assed. It's here's the logo. Here, here's here's a logo, and there's kind of a you know here you go, and then we'll tell you the name a few days later. That's about it. And it just if you look at the publishers, there's a lot less enthusiasm for news and for hyping things out and and putting things, but. And, and this is a crazy part. They're still cranking out as many comics as ever. They're just not even doing the basics of marketing to get announcements going. You know, when I think he was in the interview, when Sean Murphy did the uh, White Knight 3, the new series, you know, that's, that's a fairly big name in comics. You would think some hype and some promotion ahead of time, like, you know, something's returning. 
And then, you know, you get a picture of like uh, the new Batmobile or something and people are like, oh, that's Sean Murphy style. I bet this is something to do with that. And then uh, you get, you know, a, a shadow you know, character of the Batman Beyond. Like, oh, what's happening here? And you can, you can basically tease this stuff out. And you would think you would want to do that with him. Or who knows? I mean, whoever's coming up in D.C. or people returning, big, big names coming back. You would think that they would that would be a pretty obvious thing that they would want to hype up and tease. But once upon a time, as you as you write, there used to be a a news article, like fairly decent stories that would happen every day. And even when I started this channel, you can even look at it in my own channel. You can look at the uh, you know, 2020 news, 2021 news, 2022 news, you'll notice there's just a lot less because there is a lot less. I'm down to doing a news article. Uh, a, a video about the origin of the Punisher War Journal, meaning the book he writes in. That's that's the current state of news. So there is a lot going on, but you know these companies, I, I, they're not interested in doing it. The um, I, you know, and and quite frankly, you know, the idea of actual news reporting and putting out facts has never been something that the comics, uh, you know, quote unquote news media has ever been really good at. So here we are. But I think it's it's kind of a lack of enthusiasm. And I'll, I'll say one last thing. I think if I tie it to wrestling, which is always kind of fun to do, if you remember in the 90s, we had the Attitude Era. We had the war of WWF and WCW, and that was a big deal. The two, you know, there were plenty of wrestling news sites. And they would comment on like, ooh, this wrestler's getting ready to leave. Who's going to jump from one company to another? Here's the storylines coming up. What's Vince Russo going to do? There's a lot of activities, and there are a lot of sites that, you know, it, and, and it generated a lot of interest. People would watch wrestling and they'd go onto the internet and they'd start looking at these new sites and they'd see what was going on there. And I mean, it was just, this used to be a big deal. And, uh, and, and then what happened? Well, I mean, you know, there, there started to be less to talk about, less news, the, the whole, you know, everything dropped and, you know, wrestling's ratings are nowhere close to where they were in the nineties. And it feels like where we're at for comics as well. I know, I know comic sales are doing better than ever, but if they're better than ever, why is there close to zero buzz around the news for comics? Seems like a problem. Uh, so hopefully there's a marketing department somewhere in there that, uh, you know, can do a job. But anyway, what do you think? You notice this? Think I'm full of shit? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for listening. <laughs>